If I was mentioning the word dinosaur, what would you think about? I assume most of you would instantly think of, of those weird looking prehistoric reptiles, or old bones, or even that crazy dinosaur phase you went through when you were little. Uh, while all of these answers are technically correct, what I immediately think about is the incredible field of science which I believe deserves a little bit more attention than it's been getting in its recent years. Paleontology. That's right, I wrote a whole speech about paleontology. So why, why exactly did I write a whole speech of paleontology? Well, in case you haven't noticed, in places such as North America, places, parts of Europe, and many other places, paleontology is beginning to be starved of funds, jobs, and even paleontologists. If you don't believe me, the, the, the biggest paleontology team in Australia consists of six specialist university professors and around 25 researchers. That's not many compared to many other branches of science. The whole crew is on its way to meet the same fate the dinosaurs did. And no, there is no giant asteroid come for all the paleontologists, otherwise this would have to double as an astronomy speech. However, it is considered a dying field in some places, but it shouldn't be despite the fact that there have been roughly around 700 different species of dinosaurs already uncovered and named, there is still plenty of stuff and things about the earth and ancient life forms that even the smartest of people still don't know yet. So why do people think that paleontology is a dying field, even when it technically isn't? Well, when you think about it, when was the last time you remember learning about dinosaurs and fossils? For me, it was 2012. I was five years old and in pre-primary. That's a whole decade's worth of dinosaur facts lost. Why? So why is this? There are several reasons as to why nobody seems to want to do it, such as changing interests or not really knowing about the, sub about the subject. However, the example that I'll be using today is school. Now, I'm not saying that school is a horrible place trying to, stop, trying to stop us from becoming paleontologists. However, I am saying that I'd like to see at least one lesson about paleontology or any other branch of science within biology being taught in high school biology. If you ask your friends or anyone else around my age, 15, what they want to be when they're older, I guarantee you're going to hear a mix of law, medicine, business, education, trade, and maybe even environmental science. Why? Well, my hypothesis is that by the time we get to the age where we are starting to think seriously about our futures, our subjects in school are all based around those examples that I listed. Throughout those school subjects, you're going to find something that you enjoy, you're good at, and will make you a lot of money. Primary school subjects are far more diverse and focus on the students' creativity and, and development rather than their achievement and general IQ, which is what the high school is all about. So it makes logical sense that most people who want to be paleontologists are young children, since that's what they're learning about in school, and it's a, it's a good topic to teach kids about life and the earth in a fun and interesting way, rather than high schools who get to learn about law and linear equations. Did you know that Flinders University is the only university in the entire country of Australia to, um, to offer an undergraduate paleontology program? In fact, you can't really study paleontology anywhere else in Australia. You must either major in either bi geology or biology, or for the best chance of becoming a paleontologist, you can choose a course that included both disciplines. After choosing one of those options, you must advance through the ranks to earn your certification as a paleontologist. Your choices are to work extremely hard to, to complete two courses at once, or to roll up Flinders. And while this may seem like an easy choice, this would likely require most people to move to, 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 move to Adelaide away from their family and friends. For paleontologists, why is it so hard to study and become one, compared to just about every other university offering just about every other course? Because not enough people know enough about the topic to be interested in a career based around them. So what's our takeaway from this? Paleontology is a dying field of science, but is also not at the same time. School subjects that are offered can affect the different pathways that students choose. And despite the need for more paleontologists, not just in Australia, but around the world, only one university in, a, in the whole of Australia offers the course. I'm not saying that you have to be a paleontologist just because we need them. You can do whatever you want. But I am saying that we need to learn more than law, business, and maths, because those aren't the only things that can make us successful. Something as simple as fossils being given as much attention as how to solve the error of a triangle could, could, could end up with at least a couple students going on to make their own prehistoric discoveries. Not to mention that the average paleontologist annual salary in Australia is over 114,000 grand, with an entry level paleontologist who wants three years of experience, earning an, earning an average salary of over 80,000, and a senior level paleontologist, which is eight plus years of experience, earning an average of over $140,000, which is quite a bit of money. 
So now that we know a little more about paleontology, hopefully I've hooked some of you and you're interested and you would like to head to learn more because it really is an incredible field of science. Thank you.